and welcome back to Let's Play River City Girls Zero. Last time, Kyoko and Misako got shot. Unfortunately, uh, they are out of the party right now for pretty understandable reasons and are in the hospital. So this is no longer River City Girls, it's back to just the boys. Now uh, we're on Sabu's island in Izu and, uh, well, not island, but hideaway in Izu and uh, we're in a factory for some reason. I'm not really sure what the deal with this place is. It doesn't connect to anything else with uh, within Sabu's hideaway, so yeah, this is just kind of weird. What it is is a way to force us to do some hideously awkward platforming that I may die in. So yeah, the we need to jump to this thing. Okay, whoo, I got it. It is so easy to fall and kill yourself there. Uh, if you fall uh, trying to jump to that, you will die, uh, and you just gotta know when it's coming. Uh, you gotta get the timing down to get through that. Outside of the factory, we're just uh, inside uh, the courtyard of a manor area. So yeah, I'm not sure what the factory is supposed to be. It's so weird. Uh, the literal translation does not give any kind of insight into what that place is supposed to be. It's just a set piece because Sabu likes to design his hideaway like a video game. Anyway, we got more Sabu's thugs, so uh, standard tactics here. Uh, we jump kick him down, and then we do a hurricane kick on their get-up. There we go. That guy attempted to stab me, but uh, he could not trump my active frames. There we go. Let's just, uh... Yep, no, poof, that was close. Man, sometimes I'm just so awkward about placing the jump kicks. I'm actually very surprised I managed to hit that guy with that, and he didn't just stab me. Alright, jump kick this guy. And we'll just... Do some grounded pummels, that did not work out well. Uh, you. Oh, oh, oh. Pff. I was trying to do the hurricane kick as I got up, but uh, the guard did not activate, and that was... I did not mean to get into a pummel. That, that, that is kind of the unfortunate thing, too. I didn't actually explain this properly. To do a grounded pummel, you just have to press down over uh, enemy when you're standing above them. Uh, it's very easy to do that by accident when you're just walking over them and then trying to move downward on the plane, so uh, be careful with that. All right, let's just see if I can't punch this guy. No. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't try to go for standard uh, punching tactics. I realize it's a little boring to just see me do jump kicks repeatedly, and if you think that's boring, uh, get used to it, because <laughs> uh, we have quite a few fights to get through where uh, that is the only thing we can really do. Okay. There we go. Actually managed to run up to him in time for that. And one more jump kick. One more uh, hurricane kick should take this guy. Yeah. And fortunately, that's the last of them. All right, let's get into the uh, hideaway proper. Heading into here. Sabu, I'm here. I'm going to kick your face in. And you ain't going to do much better, pal. Let me tell you. Uh, Kudio is actually quite serious here, as you'll find. Oh, ah, <laughs> I love that stock screen. But yeah, of course, trapdoor. Now we're sent into a basement area with Joe's brother. Uh, we'll call him Jeff. Uh, this fight has a little bit of a gimmick. Let's uh, just jump kick him as it comes out. The floor starts shaking. Jump. Nope. Oh, I was too early on that. Uh, what we got to do here? Okay, hold on. Let's wait for him. There we go. What we've got to do here is uh, stand on this. Oh. Yeah, I missed time my jump kick there. Ah, jeez. Yeah, this fight is kind of tricky to get. Okay, okay, we want to stand on this. There we go. Uh, we want it to fall, and then Jeff will just, uh... Oh, no. Ah, oh, man. Ah, yeah, the platforming in this game is not very well, but you, you get the idea. We want to stand on that block, let it fall, then Jeff will run into it. Unfortunately, because I died there, we have to watch the cutscene with Sabu again. Let's just uh, try and speed through this. One thing that I really wish this uh, port had was a any kind of fast-forward function for the cutscenes. There's no way to skip the cutscenes in this game. You just have to mash through the dialogue as fast as you can. It's really annoying, and it also makes repeat playthroughs not that fun, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, having a story in your beat-em-up is kind of a novel uh, concept, but uh, as this game demonstrates, it's not always a great idea. Okay, there we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, now I'm dead for sure, unless... Oh, okay, you can actually clear that. I'm surprised. Once Jeff is dead, you can get all the way to the right and climb up this ladder. <laughs> Oof. Nasty. 
Now, coming up to here, uh, actually be very careful. We're thrown into a fight with a variety of Lisas with uh, multicolored hairs. Uh, if you die here, you get sent back to the Sabu cutscene and have to uh, fight Jeff again. Fortunately, uh, Lisa Lisa and the Cult Jam here is not that difficult. Of course, I'm getting beat up pretty bad, so as often is you can't just uh, take that take my word for that as I say it. But, you know, Kunio, he, he does not care too much. I keep doing the uh, downward strike. Uh, that downward strike that you can do while jumping in the air, I'm not sure if there's any kind of use for that. This isn't like St Streets of Rage, where you can use that to get an enemy locked into a punch combo uh, uh, when they're getting up. Oh, whoops. I was trying to use the invincibility to do a hurricane kick there, but uh, they knocked me down before I could even get the chance to. But yeah, the uh, Lisa's, uh, as long as you're playing well, they're not that tough. I'm playing pretty poorly here. Yeah, you, you've probably noticed a lot. Enemies are just so capable of uh, breaking out of your punch combos. Alright, Kunio's kind of dying here. We don't want to go back to the previous section, so let's switch to Ricky. Ricky can beat these girls up uh, really effectively. That sounds weird when I say it like that. Don't, don't put too much mind into that. And of course, he can just do his rapid punches to loop them into grounded pummels. If I don't screw it up, that is. <laughs> Yep, I uh, do quite well at uh, screwing up these things, so not too much more to say about this fight. Uh, hmm. What have you guys been up to? Uh, last night I played Phasmophobia with a couple of my friends, and we did horrible. The entire night we only managed to successfully guess one ghost, and we must have done like a dozen uh, investigations. Uh, we were quite bad at it, but we were getting the hang of it uh, after we uh, did some time reading the wiki and actually went over the controls. Interesting game, we'll probably play a little bit more of it. Also close to finishing up all my playthroughs of Resident Evil 2 on Leon B, about halfway through that, uh, at the first fight with uh, William Birkin, so that should uh, have that done by today, and hopefully I'll uh, have the uh, A rank necessary to get the Gatling gun. Not that I'm ever going to use it, since I think using those weapons is kind of boring. Although I will admit, in Resident Evil 4 it is very fun to use the Chicago typewriter. Jeez, this fight is going on way longer than it usually does. Ah oh, man, yeah, that that is uh, what stinks about uh, Ricky's uh, get up move or his spin move. Uh, it's just got a abysmal range. Okay, that's one Lisa down. There we go. That's the other. We got one more to fight though. Let's just. Uh, oh, I actually want to do stomps there. It is actually very difficult to do stomps with Kunio and Ricky once you have the pin maneuver. So that is actually one genuine use that Kyoko and or Kyoko and Misako have is that they can do uh, stomps much more easily. Uh, generally, these pummels are better, but for enemies that shove you off almost immediately, uh, it's definitely preferable to do these stomps, but I'm having so much trouble actually getting them to come out. Ah, and I keep getting the pins, too. I, uh, whenever you see me go for a pin here, that means I'm trying to stomp, but it's just not working out like that. This is the last Lisa, so once we get her taken care of, we can, get on, we can move on with this level. Okay, there we go. Once the Lisas are dead, this door opens up. Now what awaits us in here? Yeah, that's a fancy glass window. Ow! Oh, oh dear. That is some impressive force right there. Hey, Misuzu. Actually, yeah, what are you doing here? Thank you for being so blunt, Ricky. Oh, of course he did. He did. He knows how to pick him, though. That is a that is a pretty effective bodyguard. And yes, we have to fight Misuzu. Oh, no, that's not gonna work, Kunio. Uh, alright. So, Misuzu, this fight is exactly the same as it was in the Pachinko Parlor. Uh, the difference, of course, is that we do not have uh, Kyoko and Misako this time, so uh, we have far less margin for error. On the bright side, Misuzu does have much less health in this encounter to make up for the fact that you have less health also. Huh, I'm actually surprised I got a basic kick combo on her there. I was just kind of throwing out buttons trying to get away from her. Okay. Uh, do this, but yeah, this is uh, ah, god, 
this is the way you want to do Misuzu, is just walk away from her and try to approach her diagonally, get the jump kicks in. Very similar to how it was the previous time. Actually, it's identical. Uh, we just have to do it as best we can. Yeah. Alright, so... Go diagonal. Nope. Ooh, dear. Okay, Ricky can take one more of those. Okay, oof. That was close. She was going for it, as you saw. Okay, now we're back to Kunio. Fortunately, the invincibility frames helped us out there. I used to have a friend who always called invincibility frames invincibility frame rates, and it always irritated me. <laughs> uh, now you're getting uh, stories of my past. Uh, you gotta find ways to pat things out when you're doing repeat boss fights. Fortunately, this uh, game does not have a boss rush to worry about or anything. That would be really annoying if it did. Oh, oof. Get it slapped. Fortunately, it's not a hundred hand slap, it is just a single hand slap. Oh, jeez. Ow, oh, this is not... I might eat a game over here. She does have much less health, but uh, she still has quite a bit to chew through. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, when she uh, walks onto the same plane as you, that's how you know you're in trouble. Oh, jeez. Sometimes it just does not want to work out. Come on, Misuzu, you've got to have, like, three broken ribs at this point. Oh, dear. Okay, so any hit we take at this point is death. Let's see if we can't, uh, maneuver this. It, 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 it. There we go. Okay. Couple more stomps. Ow. <laughs> I said she has much less health, but this is not going any quicker than it did in the Pajuk. Pachinko Parlor. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna cut ahead to the end of this fight, because it is not interesting to watch me redo this whole thing. Alright, there we go. Got her. Uh, that went a little bit better than the previous one, although Kunio got knocked out of the fight really quickly. Wait, what? Yeesh, Sabu does not play around. <laughs> uh, you better get out of here yourself, Misuzu. I have a feeling things are about to get a little hot, so to speak. But yeah, the Misuzu repeat fight, not that different from the first encounter. Uh, less health on her, but uh, still just as dangerous. And you have a lot less resources to play around with yourself. Probably does not even out in your favor. If you struggled with her the last time, you are probably going to be quite miserable at this section of the game. Alright, what do we got over here? Alright, coming out onto uh, the second floor here, or whatever this floor is, the top floor. Got more Sabu guards to take care of. Uh, just to show it off here, uh, Ricky can also use his rapid punches to get to these guys. Oh, I did not mean to pin him there. We're just going to stick to Kunio though, since uh, his is a lot more effective. Uh, his spin kick, I mean. There we go. Awesome! That actually uh, went quite well. Get those guys hung up on the edge of the screen, they can't do anything about it. That was very close, I almost uh, mistimed that. There we go. Alright! Nice! Did that nice and clean. Once we head into this room... Why, hey, it's the object of our revenge, Ken! Aw, oh, man. Bad dad, bad dad. <laughs> he does raise a valid point. Hmm, I almost kind of feel sorry for him now. <sighs> I suppose we do have more of a personal vendetta against Sabu at this point, but Ken, you're in our way. Alright, so Ken is kind of a mirror match. He has uh, a mixture of moves from uh, Kunio and Ricky. Uh, yeah, there he does uh, Kunio's flying headbutt. We can get him with a hurricane kick on Get Up. Uh, he does have invincibility frames, much like we do. And uh, there's uh, Ricky's hurricane. This fight can be a little tricky, so be careful. Uh, he is immune to pins, so you can't get him that way. Now, the best way to handle this guy is to uh, approach him as Ricky and do the rapid punch. Uh, we're gonna just uh, do as much as we can with Kunio. 
Yeah, I was trying to do a hurricane kick there. It did not work out. Ken hits pretty hard. All right, we're going to switch to Ricky since I can very easily get caught into something that will kill Kunio there. And what we want to do is just try our best to space him out with rapid punches and uh, knock him down, get two stomps in. Not too different from Misuzu, it's just the move we're going to be using is a bit different. Uh, he is very, very consistent about blocking jump kicks, so I would not recommend using them, as you saw when I tried to hit them, hit him with those with Kunio. Ah, he blocked the <laughs> uppercut. That, that was a shame, that would have been some good damage if it hit. Okay. So, this fight can be a little tricky, but same thing with uh, Misuzu, you can kind of back up, he'll back up too, and then you can approach while uh, throwing out the rapid punch. There we go. And, okay, I wanted him to back up into the wall, he did not. Oh dear, I'm doing this pretty badly. I might uh, also lose this fight. These final boss fights, they are very, very easy to lose. You only have two characters, and they can shred your health bar in no time at all. So don't be surprised if you start dying a bunch here. Uh, my first time playing the game, I must have racked up like 30 game overs here. Alright, that's uh, what I wanted, but I screwed up the timing on the rapid punch. Hit him again. Pull back up. Come on. Get... Yeah. Here. The... Oh no! Oh no! So yes, he can block it on occasion. <laughs> uh, the main thing to watch out for is that he loves doing the uh, special jump attack uh, if you are at the right distance from him, so be careful when approaching him on a horizontal plane. Oh dear, oh dear. My uh, own strategies were used against me, and I died, of course. Alright, I'll cut ahead to the end of the fight. There we go! <laughs> that was close, as you can see. But we got him, and the game starts freaking out. Well, looks like we just have to deal with Sabu now. Wait, what? Oh, man! He just shot his own son! What a jerk! That was a very, <laughs> that was a very, uh, <laughs> I don't know, unamused way to put that. But Ken reveals that he is not, in fact, Kunio's brother. Ricky is just as irreverent as I was in the face of this. I guess we don't have much reason to care about Ken, but Kunio feels a little sympathy for the devil at this point. So, that was the plan all along. Ken's sole purpose as Sabu's son was to use as a frame-up on Kunio. Well, there goes the self-destruct system. Alright. Well, in the end, he does at least decide to help us out here. Aww. And Ken dies. Or does he? Well, that's uh, neither here nor there. We need to get up and catch up with Sabu. And here we are in the final fight of the game with Sabu in his burning mansion. Until you meddling kids. <laughs> Kunio is too cool for Sabu. Alright, as soon as he uh, says this, these crass insults will be your last. I want to start buffering up a jump and do a kick. Sabu has a gun. Uh, he can shoot us, and if he shoots you, it takes out like 90% of your health, like you'd expect a gun to. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm doing this badly. What we want to do. Uh, there are two ways to avoid the gun. You can jump kick at him, like I'm doing, or you can guard to duck it. Uh, <laughs> it's a little counterintuitive. Uh, you don't actually block the bullet, you just duck it. Oh dear. And I mistimed that. You wanna- my preferred method is to jump kick him at him as he gets up, and I screwed that up, so yeah. Let's see if I can't do this a little better. I was uh, trying to explain it, but uh, my preferred method is to jump kick at him, then you want to back up, wait for him to get up, and as he's pointing the gun, well, as he's getting up, you want to jump kick at him, that'll allow you to avoid the gunfire as he's getting up, so we're going to mash through this text. Come on. Yeah, he has a bit of a long spiel here. And then, start mashing the jump. 
jump him down, and here's what we're gonna do. He's getting up, jump kick at him, getting up, oh, ah, screwed that up. Uh, his kicks do pretty sizable damage also, so be wary of that. Yeah, sometimes I screw up and uh, misplace the jump kick. But as long as we're near him while he's firing, we can get our own attacks. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, I got caught in a punch combo. Okay, we're in a bit of a bad situation. I'm going to switch to Kunio just in case I get some kicks in or he gets some kicks in. Kunio can survive that. Uh, gunfire will kill us no matter what at this point. Okay, yeah, now anything he does will kill us. I'm doing this rather poorly. Oh, no, that is not what we want to do. Okay, that was lucky. There we go. Wait for him to get up. Another jump kick. Good opportunity to do a spin kick at him. Oh no. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna just uh, try and get the successful attempt at that. I will cut ahead to when I get this correctly. There we go, got him. Ooh, tough fight, tough fight. Managed to do that without Ricky getting shot, though. I did not draw much attention to this, but uh, you are stuck on a 2D plane there, so no, you cannot just walk up and down to try and avoid his gunfire. Yeah, burn with the rest of your manner, Sabu. And Sabu is dead. Or is he? I gotta say, for all the cool music this game has, it's really disappointing that the final boss just has a generic theme from the earlier in the game. Ken had a cool theme, at least. And Sabu's mansion is up in flames. Yeah, it was uh, not easy, and it was very irresponsible of you to let us just go in there. And all of uh, Survivor's, or Sabu's surviving gang has been arrested. I can see why Sabuko was a little irate at Kunio and Ricky. Oh, what's up? Alright, sweet! Well, all's well that ends well, right? Looks like the River City girls live to fight another day. Haha. <laughs> and with that, the River City boys head out to be with their girlfriends. And that is River City Girls Zero. So, uh, we get a credit scroll for the actual game here. Uh, after this finishes up, there will be a post credit scene, and then some uh, bonuses from uh, this being River City Girl Zero. There'll be a final uh, motion comic scene with uh, Kyoko and Misako, and a uh, special ending credit song, which I won't talk over since that one has lyrics. Uh, so I'll just uh, discuss my opinion of the game over the traditional credit sequence. Actually, extremely traditional credit sequence, uh, written in uh, traditional Japanese, uh, scrolling to the right of the screen Green, uh, and they are oriented vertically. Uh, this game, it's it's uh, it's competent. It's got very good visuals and music. It's got a nice variety of controls, but the actual play control, as you probably noticed while I was playing it, very stiff. Uh, not exactly easy to uh, go between different moves. It's very easy to get caught in mashing buttons and take a ton of damage that way. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, dashing. Uh, similarly is very stiff, moving on vertical planes very stiff. That said, uh, once you get a feel for it and you know what is effective against which enemies, it's not too hard to get stuff caught in loops. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's the worst SNES beat-em-up I've ever seen, and not the worst game I've ever played by his name, but it's fairly mediocre. It's not aged terribly well. Uh, I, like I commented earlier, uh, the story probably at the time was novel, but for a beat-em-up, especially since you can't skip the cutscenes, makes it very annoying to replay, and honestly was a big reason I was reluctant to do any additional practice on this game, just because it's very slow. Uh, if you cut out the cutscenes entirely, you could easily beat this game in like 30 to 40 minutes. Very, very short. Uh, if uh, WayForward does any kind of post 
or uh, Arc System, or whatever uh, branch handles this game's localization. Probably way forward, though. Uh, if, if they ever do any, like, post-patch ports, like, it would be nice if they added, like, a fast-forward button, like a Turbo Function XC and put in the uh, East games uh, on PC, just so you could get through the cutscenes faster. That would make uh, replaying the game much less of a hassle, but... Otherwise, I, I do think the game has a good amount of variety. It's definitely a unique beat-em-up, but probably one that sticks more in people's minds if they actually played it back in the day when your only option for it was fans' translations. I, I will say, uh, I, I tend to be more lax on this, but I do think the game's a little overpriced. Uh, it costs $15 to buy. I, I definitely think it's closer to $10 at best uh, for a game that you can easily complete in under two hours for the average player. But that is the end. Now, like I said, uh, there is a post credit scene afterwards, so let's just uh, wait for that to come on. Now stop me if you've seen this one before. Hmm, this looks all too familiar. And looks like the pedestrian light has gone red. No, oh, he's going too fast! But wait, wait, he hits the brakes, comes to a stop, and hey! I know that handsome fella. <laughs> but yeah, this time Kunio actually stops on time. And that is the end of River City Girls Zero. I hope you enjoyed watching. Stick around, there is a couple of things after the credits for this game, and I hope you uh, get at least a good laugh or some entertainment out of that. Until next time, we will rejoin in Dai Katana. Wow, I guess that was our first adventure together. Pretty crazy stuff. We got to ride a motorcycle! And climb on top of a Ferris wheel. Which is actually, like, super dangerous. We really shouldn't have been doing that. And of course, Miss Suzu would be there beating us up. Again. Wait, did we really get shot by that Sabu guy? Did that actually happen? Why are you asking me? I don't know how video game logic works. That was pretty intense, though, you gotta admit. Like when that high school started to collapse underneath us. I don't see any bullet holes. Hey, where was Sabuko anyway? I thought she was Sabu's kid, not that Ken guy. Yeah, then why was Ken so handsome anyway? <laughs> You're just saying that because he looks like Kunio. What? No, I wasn't. Shut up. So if this game was our first adventure together, does that mean it actually happened? What you mean? Well, like, if Sabu and Ken really exist, won't they be pretty mad at the four of us for beating them up? Not to mention taking down Sabuko in our last adventure. Oh, yeah. I guess lots of people got lots of reasons to beat us up now. Probably. Good thing this was just a video game. Come on, let's go find Kunio and Ruki. Do you think I should dye my hair blue again? Oh, totally. And those schoolgirl uniforms we were wearing? So cute. Okay. 
ready to spar with any nice guy or jerk all the same Could be a game or a lifestyle depending on who use it Addicted to the beat and I ain't only talking music Asking us to prove it, well we just did So don't you give us any lip unless you wanna get it busted Strangers can't be trusted but neither can I When you're in danger every day it's either live or let die Knuckle sandwiches are fly and have your lunch with these rhymes It's all about comedic time and when delivering punchlines We're living in such times but we still look good It just don't feel right without a little trouble in my neighborhood So you could save the good intentions I got down But it's something you can mention when I'm knocking your lights out Get just a little chaotic. Ain't no damn songs in the streets. That's right, baby. We bring the